today I will discuss uh, SQL transformation in Encronic. So basically, uh, what is the use of this SQL transformation? Because when by using SQL uh, transformation, so we can execute the SQL queries in the middle of the map. So before SQL transformation, we have the option in session level, we can execute SQL queries at uh, before source, after source, before target, and after target. So by using this SQL transformation, you can execute the SQL queries in the middle of the mapping itself. So let's discuss SQL transformation. So by default, it is an active transformation, but you can set it as a passive as well. And we can process SQL queries scripts in the pipeline. And we can operate this SQL transformation in two modes. One is script mode, another one is query mode. Script mode, you can you can put multiple SQL statement in a SQL file and you can call this uh, SQL file in the SQL transformation. Query mode, directly you can execute uh, your SQL queries in a database. Uh, for better understanding, so I'm, I'm, I'm planning to design Babylon mapping actually. So we have, I'm taking two sources, uh, one source, one, two sources as script files, one script having creating the temp tables and the inserting the data and the another script deleting the dummy data and dropping those temp tables so now first to create uh, those uh, scripts in informatica source analyzer so make it as name as before load script and after load script as having single column that script name you can mention length uh, as a thousand uh, based on your script so now uh, in this before load script on the one script before load script i am passing uh, i mentioned two scripts again with the file part temp table create script and temp table insert script see temp table create script i am creating the table employ temp employees and the second table insert create script i am inserting the data dummy data and now same for the another script after load script i am again i am keeping two files with paths so one is deleting the data from temp table and one is uh, dropping the temp table. So create a, now place these all these files in Informatica shared resource file directory. Uh, and now create the mapping uh, like below and uh, select this option, script mode option and I'm using Oracle. So while creating the SQL transformation and make sure the DB connection is sh static and press on OK. So now you can see he's mapping like this. So SQL transformation, when you select in the script mode, SQL transformation is created by uh, these default ports. So just SQL script, connect to the SQL script column from the source to the SQL transformation and the SQL script results and script error. So create to the target. You can create these targets to see the script results or script errors. If there are any errors, you can see these uh, script errors in the target file. And um, make sure you need to mention the uh, target load plan order in the mapping because I want to execute before load script first and after load script second. And make sure in session level, uh, when you select in the SQL transformation, and make sure the connection should be relational and uh, uh, define the connection. And the source files as well, source file directory and source file name, the first source, and the after load script. So you have to select the source file name here and just run the mapping, it succeeded. Now see the output files. So these two output files are generated. So it's passed, and passed, passed, passed. Means it's those SQL scripts were successfully executed. Uh, this is the mapping I created. So here see, uh, this is the script, SQL script one, and this SQL script I connected this SQL transformation to this SQL and these script errors. Now go to the session level. So this is the script mode I created this uh, session. See this uh, SQL, when you select this SQL and the connections and the uh, SQL transformation relational and pass it with Oracle. So just press on OK, just execute the scripts. So before that, I'll make sure, uh, you know, um, file should be available your file directory so 
see these are the files uh, create edit define and this uh, target directory target files and the before upload script before the script just use these files because already I ran it so let, let's run again succeeded and now go to the uh, again the folder see here the past passed and the upload target the folder target is passed means success